Now, in this lecture, we're going to talk about what is exception handling. Every application must handle errors. Errors in Node.js are handled through exceptions. An exception is created using a throw keyword. Usually, in client-side code value, can be any JavaScript value, including a string, a number, or an object. In Node.js, we don't throw strings. We just throw error objects. An error object is an object that is either an instance of the error object or extend the error object. If you want to throw error message to the user, you can just simply say here, throw new and then create the error object and specify the error message to it. Now, this is the simple way to throw an error to the user. You can also handle error using try and catch method. For example, if you want to handle the error message, you can use this syntax, try and catch. We first create the try block. Inside this try block, we put the code and then if this code return any error, we're going to catch that using this catch block. This key represent the exception value. So when this code return any error, this E object will catch that error and execute this catch block. You can handle exceptions with promises as well. Using promises, you can chain different operations and handle error at the end. For example, let me just print here a code. Now, as you can notice here, I just created a function, do something one, and then I'm going to change some methods with it. I'm going to execute this do something two method. Once the execution of this first method is finished, then if the execution of second method is finished, I'm going to execute this do something three method and then execute this catch method if there is any error inside this code. But how do you know where the error code occurred? You don't really know, but you can handle error in each of these functions you call. You can create an object of error in each of these error functions. So we'll understand where the error came from. Inside these functions, you can specify this throw and throw a new error object using these functions. That's going to call this outside catch handler. Now let me show you the one by one examples of these three syntax. So let me get rid of these two syntax right from here and save the changes. Now let me execute this file. Now as you can notice, we just throw an error message with this statement. When I execute this file, I'm going to have an error message as a result. So using this statement, you can throw a simple error message in your program. Now once you understand how to use this throw keyword to return the error to the JavaScript code, let me show you how to use try and catch block. So here I'm going to say try and in this block, I'm going to say console.log and print start try block. Just like that, here I'm going to say catch and in the parentheses, I'm going to specify the error object like this. And down here, I'm going to say console.log and say error message. Save the changes. Now let me execute this file. When I execute this file, I'm going to have this simple console message. Right now, I don't have any error inside this try block. So this statement will not execute this catch block because I don't have any error inside this try block. Let me add some error inside this try block. So down here, I'm going to just create a variable, la la la, like this. I just specify semicolon. As you can notice, this will return an error message because the variable is not defined. Let me save the changes and execute this program again. When I execute this program, I'm going to have error message. This program will execute this catch block. So if you copy this console and put that down here, and if I just say here, and try block, save the changes, execute this file, this statement will not execute because you have error at this line. If any error occurs in this try block, will execute this catch block. So this statement return an error message. So this will execute this catch block and will not execute this console message after this error. Now, if you want to get this error detail, you can just put this error object in your console like this. If I see here error, save the changes and execute this file again, I'm going to have the error detail in my console. So I'm going to have this la 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 is not defined. So using this object, you will understand what exactly the error message is. So this is just a simple example of try and catch method. You can return any error using this try and catch block. If you want, you can throw the error right here as well. So if I just say here, throw and create an object of error. And if I just return this error, then this statement will also execute this catch block. Save the changes and execute this file. As you can notice, I'm going to have the error message in my console. Now let's take a look at how to handle the error in promises. So let me get rid of this statement and just copy some code. 
and paste it here and now let me explain this code now you can notice this is the promises code i'm gonna first create this method do something and just after that i'm gonna call a method then so once the processing of this do something method is finished i'm gonna execute this then method inside this then i'm gonna return this do something to method so this will execute this do something to with catch object so if if there is any error inside this do something to it will execute this catch block and when this then method find any error inside this function this will just break this chain and will not execute this then method instead it will execute this catch block the same goes for the second method as well if this method will not return any error then this do something will move to the next then method right here and execute this then method and inside it if this returns an error message it will execute this catch block and exit from this chain and print this message to the user so this is a very simple example of promises now you're not limited to only use exception handling in promises or in standard javascript you can use it for sync and await functions as well let me show you how you can do it here i'm going to create a sync function and specify name to it some function inside it i'm going to call try block and inside this try block i'm going to say await and just call this function just after this try block i'm going to call this catch block so if this statement return any error message it's going to execute this catch block and print this error message on the console so these are some simple examples of exception handling next we'll start learning express js